Yo, what up, what up, what up, welcome back. Damn, I'm gonna tie this back up. I mean, button this back up, whatever. Um, just got done with the, the Gnome Impact. Fresh off, just ended. And I wasn't gonna recap it for real, but there's some things we gotta talk about. Some things I'm gonna try to go through real quick, as quick as I can. <clears throat> um, starts with the surprise battle. We had uh, Kid Slade and Authentic versus Sheed Happens and Swervo. I was getting food, so I was only able to hear it, like put the phone to my ear or whatever. I really couldn't see it too much, hear, hear everything. But from what I could see, the battle was pretty fire. Um, so that's definitely going to be one I'm going to watch back on the app. Um, but the battle seemed like it was a really good battle. Um, then they got to the car, PG Killers versus the Footsteppers. This was a good battle. This was a really good battle with both sides, but it was a clear 30, in my opinion, for the PG Killers. DNA and John John and Don just seem <clears throat> more in tune, more um, more in sync with one another, and it's weird because you know the Footsteppers they've done this a couple times, whereas John John and Don and DNA they never teamed up together, but I think experience really played a factor in this. Um, and, and before I go any further, eight listen, this is another reason I want to do this 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 this, this blow up right here. No more battles in Atlanta, please. I. This crowd is horrible, and I'm tired of saying this. I am so tired of every 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 event. We gotta come on here and, ex and tell how bad these 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 uh, these crowds are. And Atlanta is one of them. They're so terrible. I don't know that they don't understand bars. They 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 don't get it. Are they they tired? They don't want to. I don't know what it is. Please, let's let's stay. Are, maybe they're spoiled. They get every every event. So maybe they're like oh another one another one. No, I don't know what it is. Stay away from Atlanta for a minute, please, please, please. Because we had a lot of good material that was wasted. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's cool, like, you know, as fans, we could react. We hear what we want to hear. We react to what we want to hear. But at the same time, those live crowd reactions can really make a difference in how you even perceive or receive the message or react to what you're hearing. These crowds are, it was terrible today. Terrible. Um, but, yeah. Footsteps, foot, foot Soldier was good. Um, I think the lack of crowd participation got to them, though. I do. Um, whereas DNA and John John, it didn't, it didn't. And they had, I feel like, more um, either haymakers or they had more, like, um, in-depth schemes to keep the crowd more entertained. So, had um, PG Killers 3-0. The next battle, I believe, <coughs> was Fonz and Av. Versus, who the hell are Fonz and Av? Did they battle T Top and um, the Swamp? Yeah, they did. And that battle was weird too. I think um, I think it was a pretty much either a two one or three zero for T Top and Swamp. Um, it was one of those things again, like a crowd participation that got to Fonz and Av, but also. I feel like they're a little bit more dry. Like they're not really made for the main stage. Av has rocked the main stage a couple of times, but he hasn't done it consistently. To to I don't I fuck with Av though, so I don't I don't know. But like you see it time and time again where he just he doesn't translate on that that big stage like that. Um, T Top and Swamp they did good. Um, they had a lot of jokes, some good haymakers. They had a lot more energy than Fonz and Av, and it definitely played a big part. Um, so, you can see it. T-Top and Swamp won that battle pretty clear. The next battle, I believe, was O-Red and Shotgun Shook versus Hollow Don and Calico. This battle was awful. This battle was awful. And it was at this point where it's kind of like, yo, this event is trash. You know what I'm saying? Like, we got, we had one good battle. And you had a, a, a not-so-good battle. The surprise battle, you know what I mean? So this battle right here was so bad, it's like, yo, this event is not going well at all. This battle, I, I, I look at this card, look at this card, it's it's weird. All these matchups are weird. There are some that, like, okay, I do want to see, like, the PG Killers and the Foot Steppers, or Foot Soldiers, I want to see that battle. I like I like that. It's a weird combination, but I like it. Um, T-Top and Swamp and Fonz and Av, I wasn't crazy about it. I wasn't crazy about this one either. Shock and Sugar Red, Hollow Down and Calico. I wasn't, it didn't move me, and it was terrible. Hollow Down and Calico go first. Dry. Super dry. Calico doesn't take these two-round, these, these two-on-two series at all. Um, 
and you could clearly see it. Like, and I and I, I fuck with Cal Heavy. He's when he's in my top five. But you know, one on one, he's amazing. When you do these two on twos, but you gotta, they're, they're, you still gotta be professional. You know what I'm saying? You still gotta like at least act like you care to some degree. He doesn't give a fuck these two on twos. It's clear to see. Um, so they went it was a dry around. They had a couple lines here and there, but it was nothing serious. Uh, Old Reddish Shocker should go. They had a pretty decent round. Um, I think it would have been better <coughs> if the crowd was reacting like they're supposed to. Um, but as the round was going, Old Red starts to lose his voice. So I'm like, damn, here we go again with that shit. So set round two comes. Same thing for Hollow to Don and Calico. Pretty much the same thing of them just dry spots. They're, they're not really syncing together. No real crowd participation. Participation. Um, and then, yeah, T and T uh, Chaka Sugar and Red go. And that's when Obrey really loses his voice. Now you you, really, you don't even want to hear him. Because he sounds so nasty. Like, that raspiness sounds horrible. And, um... Chaka Sugar, he carried that battle. Like, he was the one. And, and uh, it was cool to see that. Because I, I remember, like, in like the twerk battle, he was the one that was bringing him down. So to see him actually outshine all four, you know, all three of the other guys... It was cool to see. But um, I guess you're giving that round two by default. In the third round, like, it's weird. Hollow's rapping. He's trying to do, like, the, the, you know, go one on two and be the, be, the, be the star. But he's not really saying much. It's all filler. Calico is somewhere else. And then he calls on Calico. Calico comes back. He tries to get back on stage and falls. Now, he doesn't fall off the stage, but, like, he slipped or something. The crowd's so bad, they didn't even react to that. Calico's like, I'm about to go viral because, you know, uh, bust mass. You know, give, give me some one time. You know what I'm saying? Like, let me have it one time. Crowd did nothing. Like, this... Boy, Atlanta, I'm sorry. Hell no. Hell no, hell no. But then he go up there, he rap, some filler. That was done. Shaka Shug and them, try to come back. They're out of sync. They don't know where they are. Um... And then he gets to a point where Shaka Shug's like, oh, fuck. He, he looks upset. He looks mad. He's trying to get through it. So he, like, starts rapping. Oh, Red is trying to, You can tell Red is like, hold, hold on or, you know what I mean, just, just run it back, whatever. Shaka Shug's like, hell no. I'm going to keep going. And then um, they finally get to the point where oh, Red is supposed to tell the story that we've heard two years ago. Nobody, like, we, we don't care about your side. And actually, you went on, um, I think you went on Goods, um, YouTube channel and told the story from his side. So why you gotta rap about it? We know what happened. You told us what happened. We didn't know about it. But he was trying to rap it. The crowd wouldn't let him because his voice went out. So he's asking the crowd, do y'all want me to rap it? Like, 60% said no. Smack is all upset. He wants him to rap it. Obeda's like, nah, it's, it's over. Hollow walks away. Smack calls Hollow back. Smack's like, no, go ahead, rap it. He tries to rap it. Crowd is going to unwrap it. Smack says, you know, calm down. He ain't, they ain't calming down. So now Obed is telling Smack it's over, his clip is done, and Smack is not trying to hear that. He's like, that's like the first time, or one of the first times I've seen Smack, like, nah, like, rap. If you gotta rap, then rap. Obed, like, no. Smack, like, go ahead. Obed, like, no. Smack, like, go ahead. It was the weirdest thing. Super weird. Terrible battle. You give, uh, you gonna give uh, uh, Calico and, and Hollow the third because they finished their round. The battle was so bad. And, um, I almost blogged after that about it. Like I was like, you know what? I'm done with this shit. Like I'm done. With it. But then uh, we had Jerry West, Lou Castro, Danny Myers, and DNA go the next battle. And this battle was good. It brought the energy back up, um, and it saved the event for real. Uh, first round it was uh, who went first? Danny Myers and DNA, and uh, uh, Miss Hustle goes. Um, so I also did a lot of twerking, y'all. If you ain't seen this event, or you want to see that battle, she shook, she shook a lot of ass in that battle. She don't really know what she's doing with it, though. You could tell. She don't really know how to move it like that. But, you know, she was doing a little something. Um, but they had a good round. They started off um, pretty solid. A lot of energy. So it it helped. The, it made you, like, get into, like, okay, here we go. We back. You know what I'm saying? Um, but they started here in a round, like, very high. And then as the round kept going, I feel like they kind of drifted a little bit. But it's still a good round. Good solid round. Jerry West and uh, Luke Castro go. They matched the energy um, with the performance and the bars. They were really in sync. They had jokes. 
um, schemes, um, they have rebuttals. They won the first round, clear. Uh, uh, DNA, or DNA, DNA, Danny Myers and um, Ms. Hustle Go. Danny tries to rebuttal. His first rebuttal was all right. I forget what he said. I forgot what he said. I think he said something about something about uh, Jay West um, scamming, I believe, in the, in the cards. <coughs> My bad. I keep coughing and shit. Um, but then he had another rebuttal. It was so. It was the worst rebuttal I've ever heard. It was. The, I've heard a lot of rebuttals. We all heard a lot of rebuttals. This is the worst rebuttal I've ever had. He said something about. What, he, said, he said your. He said he said to to. I think Jerry West, your mom is on her period. Because cause they had a bar about a unit. They said a unisex bar. They had like a, a little hide the body in a unisex bathroom or something like that, which is fire. So Danny Myers tried to re rebuttal it. Something about your mom is on her period. Something, 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 unisex. When I tell you, th the whole room was like, What? Miss Hustle was fucking furious. You could, she was like, what the, f what, what, what was that? And Denny Myers was like, okay, now you can go. Miss Hustle, like, after that, like, what are you doing? You could, she was so angry, clearly angry. And um, you could tell that they weren't really in sync. They only had a good chemistry. He, I feel like he had, he, he had too much energy. Denny Myers was really trying to do way too much in this battle. Um, I felt like he was trying to guide Miss Hustle. Miss Hustle been here for years. She's been here before you were here. So you can't, you're not monitoring her. You know what I'm saying? You're not guiding her. I'm not saying she's going to be guiding you, but like she knows what she's doing. He's trying to tell her like when to bring it back, when to slow it down, when to rap, when to start. And Miss Hustle like, bro, calm down. Like I got this. Like you, you walking the fuck out. And uh, you clearly see it. So that kind of, when Denny Myers went though, like, he was good. But like when she's rapping, he's doing way too much. And um, it definitely played a, a part. Uh, Luke Castro and um, and Jerry West go, and it's the same thing. They were really in sync, really in tune. Um, some more rebuttals that were, were good. Crowd participation. There was a lot of bumping and shoving, like, like playfully, but um, a lot of uh, physicality in this battle. But they were up 2-0 after the second. And then uh, pretty much the third was the same thing. Um, I don't think they rebuttaled Danny this time. They just kind of went to the round, which is a good round. But uh, too much energy from Lou and Jerry in the third round as well. Um, so I had him winning 3-0. But it was a good battle, um, a really good way to uplift the event again because it was, going, it was bad. It was bad. Last but not least, battle of the night. We had gun t every gun title, every fucking gun title, or every gun title, whatever they name is. T T uh, Tay Rock and Gucci Gotti versus Gun Orthodox, Rum Nitty, New Jersey Twerk. Battle goes, Twerk and them go first. They actually didn't even flip a coin enough, and they decide to go first. Twerk starts. Rum Nitty's not on stage, so you know like there's something weird going on with that. And he's rapping up to Tay Rock about it. this is 50th. You battled here for your 50th. This is your 51, area 51. You know we gotta do the 51. With the alien, so Rum Nitty comes out in an alien suit. <clears throat> and how they set that up was fire. It was dope, it was fire. Um, they were good. They started off really well. Good um, good battle. Um, they had a lot of chemistry. They had a lot of haymakers. Um, a lot of performance. And um, they really did like a good two-on-two -two thing. It wasn't like, I rap and you rap. You know what I'm saying? They were really uh, in sync with, with one another. I thought it was dope. Um, Tay Rock and Gishi went next. There's a problem. And I don't want to like harp on it too much, but like I feel like Tay Rock, he, he gets too excited about being a part of something. So he gets a surf, and it becomes uh, the gun titles. You know, he, and he, he, he says that more than he says cave, right? Gun title, gun title, gun title. Morning says cave, right? Now we saying, cuz, you ain't no crib. You call him Tay Rock, cuz, you call him Gucci Gotti, cuz, you ain't, you know what I'm saying? In this particular battle, he said every fucking gun title. It, it, like, you could see, like, there's, 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 
there's moments to say it. You know what I'm saying? You land something crazy, say it. You know what I'm saying? You you um you get a good reaction, say it. You don't just say it just to say it. He was saying it like after every bar. It really got annoying quick. Um but they had a good round. They didn't go long at all. Like uh New Jersey Twerks and Rum Nitty's first round was like that shit was long. I ain't gonna lie, she was mad long. They didn't go even half as long. Um the energy wasn't the same. I don't think they had the same bars. I think I gave Remnant and Twerk the first round. Very clear. The second round, Remnant and Twerk go. They're now starting to get the effects of how terrible this crowd is. They're landing some shit. They're saying some shit. They had a scheme. You know, one is a blood, one is a crypt. So they were saying words with B's and, C, B's, B's and C's back and forth. Like so, But the thing is, they both would say a B and C word. So Twerk say like blue and cold. And Remnant would say back and crooked it it, it 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 was crazy it was really it was amazing but they weren't getting over the crowd was just so bad and they also had like a another skin where they were saying everything backwards like um trying to think what's, what's so like it's in a living evil if you flip those it's the same you know what i'm saying evil backwards live or live backwards evil. you know what i'm saying they had words like that both of them and it was like wow you know what I'm saying? Wow. And I noticed something. The, the lack of crowd reaction was getting to twerk. He was ready to cut it off. If it wasn't for Nitty, he would have been stopped. You know, we, we've seen that in the past. Twerk goes off crowd reaction. If he's not getting it, he's going to stop. And um, he was about to, but Rum Nitty was like, nah, let's go. <clears throat> let's keep going. So I'm glad that he had a partner for this today because if, if, if he did this one-on-one with somebody... He could have easily lost, you know what I'm saying? So I'm glad he had somebody there to like, nah, fuck it, let's keep rapping. And they end up still stopping early. You could see that they're, they're talking about it. Damn, why you, you know what I mean? I think Torp, looks like Torp apologized to him or whatever. <coughs> but um, they had a good round. It's just the crowd just so lackluster. It was ridiculous. Torp and, uh, and Geechee go. Um, they had a good round. They started off really well. Um, still, the every gun title thing was annoying, but they had some good haymakers, a lot of good haymakers. Um, they rapped about the same length. I feel like they finished better, but it's hard to. It, it's a close round. I'm not going to lie to you. It's a really close round. Um, in the third round, Twerk and, and Nitty, they had the same thing, same um, schemes, same uh, performance, same. Um, feeding off of each other. Nobody was really trying to overshadow the other. They both finished each other's lines. You know what I mean? That may take a, a segment here, a segment there, but like they was really in sync with one another. Uh, and it was dope to see. Um, they had a solid performance all around. All three rounds, they really did. And Tay Rock and Gishi goes next. <clears throat> and it looks like they're done, to be honest with you. Like, they start off really slow. They get to the mid part really slow. And like Tay Rock is rapping, and it looks like he's about to finish it up. And it's like, damn. So they it, they clearly lost the round, you would think. But Tay Rock keeps rapping and rapping and rapping, and he now is doing that solo thing. And you and at first I'm like, damn. I mean, it's gonna come down to whether you think like, is it cool for somebody to, like, do you want to see a two on two battle, or do you not care if one person just takes over and overshadows it? Like sometimes it's cool, you know. When Clips did it. Versus, um, he did a verse Arsa Shug. He did a verse um, Hitman and John John. Like, so there's certain times where it's cool, you know what I'm saying? But there's other times where you want to see a two on two because it's a two on two, so it depends. So he's going and he's heating up. And now he's going crazy. Crowd is reacting a little bit and he's going crazy. And now it's like, damn, you got to think about it. <clears throat> but then <clears throat> he tags in Geechee. Now, Geechee doing the same thing. So, Rock rap for about four minutes by itself. Geechee does it again, about three, three and a half. I had Geechee got in Tay Rock running a third round. Clear, man. Even though they weren't in sync, they weren't doing the real two-on-two -two thing, those one-on-one -on -one solos sometimes just hit different. And um, It really did. When you got one person rapping to both of y'all and going crazy like that, it, look, it do look crazy. So, the battle comes down to the second round. And I'm not going to give a winner, a winner right now. I got to look back because I can't really... Decipher who won that second round right now. I really can't. But um, overall, I get an event like 
the two the last two battles were really good. Um, the, the first one seemed the first two seemed good. The three and four was I. Right. I probably give it like a seven, maybe a seven and a half out of ten. Um, no more battles in Atlanta, please. No more battles in Atlanta. I don't care. I don't care. No more. And um, yeah, that's it. I guess they they may not be doing gnome. It may just be like summer madness. Maybe the next thing. So we'll see how, what that look like. Um, but yeah, shout out to y'all if y'all tuning in and all that. I'm trying to get back into this. So appreciate y'all, man. You have a good night and all that. All right, peace.